Hello guys, it's Murtox here with another tutorial. It has been a while since I made my last one. So, finally there's a new one over here. Um, I'm basically gonna do a full intro tutorial, but in two parts, and I will show everything in a more um, expert way, more in detail. So, yeah, you have to understand C4D for this. Because I'm not gonna explain everything like in my first two tutorials. Okay. Um, well, this is basically the text. We're just gonna do it really simple, I guess. Um, well, we're gonna make mats as well. Uh, no Lightroom, because it's basic. Everyone knows how to make HDRI. This is the song we're gonna use. So let's go to orders, new, oh, new folder, and let's call it tutorial fast, and let's save it in there, thank you. Then we're gonna open um, Audacity, because I'm a lazy fuck, um, yeah, like that, open. And then we go to uh, oh yeah, fucking amazing. Let's find the song. Um, so, okay. So what I know is the drop is around one minute. So we basically can cut away everything for one minute. Oh, and it's on my speakers. Amazing. So we can cut this away. Okay, so I can cut this away. Then it will be around 3 seconds. Okay, just something for uh, 3 seconds. Well, let's delete that. Let's export it. And let's save it. Well, there you see this. Just press OK. If you don't have Audacity, you can use uh, MP3 Cut uh, as well. But I prefer don't because, you know. Like, we can use a letter pack. We can um, just use the font. I think I'm gonna do that, to be honest. Because, hey, why the fuck should I use a letter pack? Even though I'm doing it on all my last intros. Okay, let's um, do it for silent. Because he has the same name as me, Ricardo. That's insane. So, boy, it's for you. And then let's get a good font. Um, what is a good font? So let's say we take something um, like this. Not sure though. But I think this will do it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to use this. Make a gap of fives. Or let's do 12. Yes. So the letters are split now. Okay. We're going to get a, a null pack for the song. Let's rename it to song. Press F9 for a keyframe. Show tracks and then um, sound. Just right click on the song, delete this, click on the song, and get your song. It's the, this one. So now we have the song. Uh, we're gonna listen to it, like right there. Um, and we're gonna put Marcus at everywhere we're gonna wanna have a drop. So here's the drop basically. And then that one.
Let's do here. Here one. And then this is the last one. Okay. Maybe something in the beginning, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So we have these marks now and that they will appear here. So that's good. Let's save this as well, you know, before shit starts to go down. Um, okay, let's make some materials. So uh, we're gonna have a kind of grungy one. So let's do grunge black and why black um, HD seamless. Seamless means you can um, make it on cubic and it's not gonna look any ugly or anything like that. Um, what we can do. This is kind of fun, but we have this and I don't want to edit it. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I really don't. Oh, okay. Well, this can work out. Um, for the colored material, I guess. Oh, yeah, I like that, I guess. Or, no. Nah. I'm just gonna see. Like, you, you have to search for a, a, a texture you like. Um, um, yeah, black and white or gray is the most easy um, to edit. So, Ooh, we can try that one. So, let's save it as uh, wavy texture. Um, okay, well, just search for some textures. Oh, yeah, it was this one. Uh, wavy uh, strings texture and okay so we have that and now we can go back to our first search that was for the grunge so okay now we're here and we're gonna search for some grunge uh, it's not HD we're gonna take this one and then we call it grunge texture and maybe we're gonna get some metal, metal plated texture. And let's grab something like this. Oh, there's copyright inside it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna search for a good picture and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back and I found this one. It looks pretty clean and without any copyright, so that's good. And we're gonna call it Metal Bladed Texture. So, now we're going back into a C4D. We're just gonna uh, get a quick angle like that. Render settings, just gonna show them. Uh, global illumination, everything on low basically. Soft filter 8%, sharp filter 8%. Uh, my anti aliasing, my output is like that. Um, yeah, 8 bit, you can change that to 16 bit. Um, and here in options, I only change this, this, and this. So take it over if you want. <laughs> And now we're gonna make the material. We're gonna oh, we're gonna call this one um, metal, metal grunge. And we're gonna put it on the front. Um, check the fusion bump and maybe displacement. That that can be good. But we're gonna do it at the end. So at the color, we are gonna make it black. And we can add um, a gradient, or no, no, I mean a noise, yeah. Then make it, I don't know, I'm just going to do something. Like you can, uh, with noises, you can just 
select something and make your own texture with it. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take uh, this one. Be a, a bit. Yeah, this one. Make the global scale to four. Yeah, like that. Make it a little bit darker. And we can copy this into our diffusion as well. Select uh, this and make it around 40% and this one around 80. This one can be lower as well, like let's say 50. So now we're going to reflectance, but you, you have a lot of uh, shit to choose. So I'm just going to do the usual reflection and I will um, go to specular and make this metal in a width 12. Uh, let's do 69 fall off around 10 specular strength let's say 40 and yeah let's go here and now make a layer get your first image and then we go here um, so this is gonna be our Grinch um, then we're gonna get the effect and make the brightness a little bit lower contrast a little bit higher and no and just normal gamma um, then we will get the use saturation saturation zero because there were some rusty spots then make the lightness a little bit darker so it gets that uh, grungy vibe then we're gonna get the metal plate put this on multiply and or maybe um, where is it at make it mm. um you just have to play around like you want to see the plates like, oh yeah like that i don't know what it will look like right now probably shit no, it, it looks okay it looks not that bad even just a little bit too much crunch so let's bring that down a little bit like 80 percent and then you go into here make this around 65 make this dark and around uh let's do 80. um make the roughness eight or let's do 12. let's do some weird shit. and yeah that's basically your uh yeah, grinch i guess looks pretty fine to me hmm uh, let's make that back white this up this 93 I'll, I'll, I like that first thing we had yeah I like that the good crunch okay okay um it opens in my other window all the time okay so now we're gonna copy it uh, into the, the bump and then let's say we want to have six percent i think it still will look fine negative three percent and we're just gonna render this small bit Oh yeah, that, that looks good. And then you can go to displacement, get a noise, or you can just get your play the texture and make this around 12. Let's bump this up to 90 and this back to 75. And let's render last time. Nah. Okay, we can keep this at 90 as well. Yeah, that looks fine. So, okay. And uh, now we have that. That's our uh, Grinch. Now we're gonna make a... Um, well, I'm gonna just do blue, because blue is the most easy color. It's basically the same setup, bump and displacement. So, for the color, we're gonna go to blue, make it darkish blue like that um get a lumens so yeah you, as i said you guys have to know um 
C4D, otherwise you can't yeah, really follow. Because I'm not gonna slow down or anything. Just gonna make it all 100. At least that's how I do my Lumis, if I use it, and I don't use it that often. I'm just gonna put this on um, Auto Planner or something like that. So, like that. And you can copy your Lumis into your uh, diffusion, make it 35, select this, make this 75. Then go into your um, reflection. We're just gonna add uh, reflection again. Go here, make it metal, uh, 12, 69, 5, and let's say 25 this time. And then we're going to grab our textures. Um, I think we can use this one. And then you're just going to shrink it down until 50. Make this a, a little bit lighter blue. Let's say like this. And yeah, maybe we can make this a little bit darker. So make a layer. Uh, effect, brightness, bring that down. Less contrast, maybe. Yeah. That, that should be fine. Let's put it on the middle text. Make it cubic. Seamless. And then we can go to bump. We can basically copy it. And then make it uh, ooh, 7 or 8%. And go back, make the roughness 15. What it basically does, it blurs it out. And we, we should have a, a decent looking text. It, it's not too bad. Personally, not a huge fan of this one yet. Um, we're gonna add another image. The other texture, this one. Gonna do the multiply. So we have a weird as... Um, Pretty messy texture, I guess. I hope it looks good. Uh, ooh, the fuck. Um, it's not too bad, but I don't like it. Let's make this one lighter again. Make this a little less visible around that. Yes. That looks pretty gay. And let's just get a little area. Oh yeah, that that, that looks fine. Um Maybe less bump, so let's do three. Uh, go to displacement, get this texture out, and make the strength 12 by 3. And it will look like this then. Yes, I like that. So, um, we can go back and just make this normal again till we extrude the text. So, select both, press C, extrude, change over the metals. Let's do it like that and one there. Same here. Close the shit. So, now you have everything selected. Um, get some more fractures for the letters. Then drag that in. And put your uh, extrudes in it so, you know, it fits. Then we need to uh, 
put everything in the middle basically so what we're gonna do is um, go to this access center um, you can find it here mesh access center access center select all of those then go in there put them all on zero this one as well I think some are messed up just all on zero guys how hard is it good okay just make sure they're all on zero because when you get a fracture the access center will be exactly in the middle so all we have to do now is just drag these in the position you like so um, keep the space between the letters even so around that then select all uh, I guess oh no that doesn't work so just be sure it's in the middle don't twist this because this isn't in the middle if you, as you can see so I'm just gonna do it like that and now everything is in the middle nice um oh Okay, we will start with the first drop. Wait, let's do this. Okay, so around the drop, I'm gonna do it here. And keyframe the shit. Then go five frames back. And let's rotate it like that and then we go five frames back again I think this is the good way nope so we're gonna have to go that and like that just rotate everyone knows how to do that otherwise you're wrong in this tutorial and you have to watch my other tutorials first because everyone knows how to rotate so put it down right there then let's rotate it backwards like that and then like that then it goes back forward like you just have to do random rotations of course it has to look good but it's just all about the flow it has to um, go smooth and maybe if it's fitting the music so yeah we're just gonna do some random rotations right now Let's do it like that one more time. And then we go like this. And forward. What we can do is like 180 that shit. And rotate the letters 180. I think that's a good idea. So we basically just did this. So we can F curve the shit. Um, So, I always say it has to look like a roller coaster. Like, it has to be smooth, like this. This looks, for me, fine. Other people have their own um, style in F curves. It's weird to say style, but it's true. Like, I've seen Camarch, uh, his tutorial, and he does some weird F, -car F curve stuff that I personally wouldn't do. So, I'm just gonna make sure they are all smooth and. Just drag them down. 
by holding shift or not depends how long it's gonna be because if i do it like this this might mess up over here At this point it doesn't so i'm gonna do it like that um yeah this should be fine to be honest let's watch Um I don't know, maybe we should change this. Um Fuck, I had something in my mind. Um, it's basically like that then. Yes? Oh, okay. F curve is messed up, as you can see. I guess I'm just gonna do the same. Oh fuck, I messed up so badly. Um, yeah, I'm. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, that's fucked up. Well, it's fine. This isn't good. This rotation can be faster, as you can see. So we're just gonna swing that down. Yeah, and at the end we're gonna rotate the letters. At least that's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna get a plane, uh, make it to linear, set it to this. Make it uh, long, eh? <laughs> um, and do negative 180. Go here. And go forward like that. Okay, so as you can see, it's the wrong way, so it's just 180 then. And now we're just gonna add a um, delay. Blend, make it pretty high. Blend means it uh, will make it smooth. And we can make this little bit longer uh, that, that looks fine okay uh, what we can do now is um, what I personally do a lot is um, using this rotation as well but first I see an F curve I have to fix um, Uh, 
and this wasn't to my likings. So okay, now we're gonna start and let's go to here and let's do it like that. And just, you know, make rotations you like. It has to fit, of course. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's just the usual stuff. At least for me. Not for everyone. It's easy, I guess. Um, yep, like that. And yeah, let's end it like there. Make it not visible. Oh, okay, that's maybe a little bit too much. Just, you know, a little bit. And let's decrease the detail. So it won't lag that much. Let's animate it, uh, F-curve it, as far as we've done it now. Hmm, like that. And then we go, like, that's the ending, I guess, or a little more. Uh, so. Here we're gonna have to make it that and then we go back and make it just like that. Okay, let's see. Not a huge fan of this part. Um, I think we can just. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me think. Like that. And then. Uh, 188 or something. So now it's back to the front. Then it basically goes like poking fast back. Doesn't look that bad, in my opinion. Because I like that fast. I think that only the end one isn't that great. Jesus, 41 minutes already. Not even at this half. I'm bringing it back. Yeah, that looks better. So, okay, that's how I do my text basically, yeah. Now we can add some um, effectors to it. So, 
Just gonna add another plane. Oh, why does it do that? Oh, okay. Um, make it like that. Just, just do some random shit. And if it fits, you're lucky. You're a lucky motherfucker then. Um, then we go. Uh, hello. Eat. That's ugly. Um. The fuck? Why is it over there? Okay, and we're gonna add a delay, a bounce one, so spring, make it around 75, let's hide the plane, and keyframe it, okay, so here it basically stops, so we can keyframe that like that, so it won't affect um, this rotation. Um, we can do a step. Uh, guess that's good, and then Maybe some more rotation would be nice. And let's add another step here. And we're gonna scale it up like one, two, three, and then here, so it will be even. Uh, middle like this and it goes back and it will be back and at that exact moment we're gonna add a random um, so let's see there it's all zero next one can add this shit up and then it goes back to zero and here we will just do a, a, a jumpy plane Uh, zero. Let's make a box. So let's do like that, and then boom, it goes zero and further. Let's make the two hundred. Let's hide the plane and let's add a bounce effect for that. So here we can have some spring. Ooh, that's a little bit too late and the bit is on effector.
Oh yeah, that that looks okay. Uh, this later and okay, and here we can make it stop again. So it's fine. And now add a um, formula, at least that's what I like to do. Uh, let's put this on 15, uh, 24, and 6. Make this 85, uh, 240, and make this on 0.75. And that doesn't look good, so let's make this like that. That's way too fast and way too much, so let's bring this down. Um, I, I like to keyframe it like high, so like that, then it goes to, let's say, 80. Okay, so now we have that, we can make the cam movements. Oh. So let's say we start like that. Oh, alright, this is the drop. Uh, whoop, like that. like a 360 back or let's just do another one forward like why not so and then boom Make this motherfucker go kabam. I don't have much to say, just make some rotations. Like, I love to start with uh, just this one and then I will add up uh, some more angles. Because then I can uh, see everything in perspective. Like, I know how to say it, it's just. Yeah, oh, it's so hard talking to no one. It really is. So, now we have this. Yeah, that looks fine. that and then go forward again so and now we're gonna curve this one first so um, let's make it like that 
Go there. Give the shit up. Make it dead. A little bit down. This one can be down. This one, you can just do it like that. Not much else. Not really special, that one. It's just a small rotation at the fast sync. And you just do it like that. And then at the end, you're gonna have to like that. So let's watch. Oh, oh, okay. Let's stop. I see. I see. What the fuck? That's not good. Down. Just immediately down. Wait, maybe we can make this go back a lot further, I don't know. Like that, yeah. And drag this forward. And now do the other angles. So, of course, we st we start here. Uh, well, no, we can just make this zero. Oh fuck! Make this both zero. Go here. Go down and that way. And then go this way and up. This can go back to zero there. This can go up. 12 or maybe higher. Up more. And then we can go down a bit and like that. It's just to get the perfect angle basically. And you probably won't see this in the intro anyway. Because it's too fast. But I think it's really important to get your angles correct. At least try to see the text. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes, but you know. Just mess around with the angles. After a little while. You have an angle you like. Uh, that? Jesus. And get the end angle. And go up. Because. Oh no, it's down. Okay, so now we go in the negative basically, so here it goes positive and positive, so both negative and more negative. Or wait, we can do it like that. Now we go positive and negative and more negative and more negative. Let's see.
Um. Let's animate shits. Just try to make it smooth as possible. There's not much to say about F curves, just try much, I guess. And as long as it doesn't look choppy in any way, it's all good. Gonna go down. Um, ooh, this might. No, okay, that's fine. And then, yeah, I don't know. I don't have much to say about this one. Just control A and select that one. Just edit that one though. But yeah, I, I yeah, I mostly don't curve these because it's just up and down. You don't see it that much. And here it can go forward. So, uh, why though? I don't like this part. Looks so weird. Uh, what? Fuck. Oh, it's some other screen again. Nice. Amazing. Um. Just make that go down more. Yeah. Um, maybe we can change that by going this direction, I guess. Just fix those, fix those curves. Uh, Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now let's do a random letter rotation. I like to do that in my recent intros. Just, I don't know, I like it. So it's kind of part of my style now. It's not really style or anything, but how do I say it? I just like doing it, it looks cool, I think. Well, everyone has own opinion about that, but you know. Just to add more uh, things in your intro. Like that, that's not nice. And let's... Rotate the N here. Uh, like, go backward, bitch. And right there. Uh, and 100. Or. And add another. Oh. Uh, delay there, make it high so it's gonna be smoothing out. Uh, 
And let's see, maybe we can turn up the T there. Yes, we can. Oh. So it's like here. You go up. And bring it down. And then we select the T again. Another plane. And let's make that 360. And add another delay, make it high. Uh, let's bump this one up to 200. I like that so far. Maybe we can add a, a random here. Uh, synchronized. And just search for a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks fine. Okay, and let's make this a little bit faster. Okay, I, I like how that looks. Just bring it a bit more down, that's all. Yeah. Okay, um, now let's zoom in, zoom out. Pretty standard shit. And zoom in a little bit. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out more. Oh. Zoom in. Zoom in more. Yeah, it's really simple. Not much to say, so I probably will speed this up. So that's the camera basically, just a lot of zooming in, zooming out. And now we can curve that. Just like that. Yeah. 
as you can see the N rotation is not um, too fast done so we're just gonna speed it up uh, maybe a little bit more yeah that looks fine Make it negative thousand there. Okay, and all I'm gonna do now is add a vibrate 22, 22, 22. Point 65. Um, let's bring it to five. And that's all. F curve it. Probably gonna bring it back up here again to 22 and then to 20 again. So we're gonna make a spline right at this point. So just grab your helix, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. make it bigger, let's say 2000, it's fine. Um, let's make the end angle different, rotate it, move it. Get a circle, make it around three and make your usual spline so bring it back to zero spline and as you can see it's not good it goes through the text That looks pretty okay. So let's add the blue material for that. And grab a ren a cloner, I mean. Put it in a cloner. And let's get this back. And I like it on radial, mostly. Do, do shit like that. Can I fix this uh, somehow? Uh, yeah, like that, and then goes to zero over the time. And then instead of making it five, we're gonna make it three uh, at a random and add some rotation to it and then one here and that's just basically two circles one big and one small get the big one in Small one and zero. Next one, hundred and hundred. Then, well, same story, put it into your random. And I think I'm gonna add a random on this for the rotation. Uh, 
I think I can just some scales of the splines with it as well. Yeah. So yeah. I can do a small plane here, I guess. Just one that brings it also forward or backward, depends. Forward is nicer, I guess. And make this all zero. Make it a box. And all I'm gonna do is... Oh, okay. That and negative five hundred, and then add a uh, delay, small one, spring, uh, hide this one, and let's see how it looks. Um, delay, spring, yeah, okay, we're just gonna animate that so. It should be fine, so let's start like that. Okay. Um, that spaces the fuck out of it. So I guess like that. Um, more spring then I guess. And the other one can go pretty big. I guess this, uh, huh? That's the nice trick if you have so many shit. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, lost it again. Uh, uh, just do, 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 do. Oh wait, never mind. It's this one. Make it bigger. So there you go. That's basically how I make my intros. And this is also the end of the tutorial. For the CVD part at least. Um, yeah. Let's do it like that. So well, thanks for watching this first part. If um, it was good, leave it a like, and I will see you in the yeah, next part. Ciao, ciao.